Hello all. Uh, before I begin the uh, next onslaught of Arch Linux torture videos, I'm just going to start with uh, something simple. Um, you've probably seen this before, or maybe you already use it, but if you don't, uh, maybe you'll find this helpful. It's uh, Arch Linux user repository, or and also a GitHub uh, script called uh, Weatherman. And uh, you can run it in the command line, and you can also do uh, another couple of other things with it. So obviously you need to get that through uh, Yao Art. There's only one that I know of so far. Yao Art Weatherman. And it should come back with just one. As you can see I have it installed so I don't need to install it but uh, if you use Yao Art you'll know what to do. So I'll just press enter. And another program I'm going to use is uh, I'll just do a search to show you. Uh, Zenity. And that's installed. And dialog, I mean, display graphical dialog boxes from shell scripts. Okay, so we're going to use the Weatherman and this Xenity program. So here's a look at the, my Weatherman script. So I'll just uh, throw this out in the leaf pad. Weather. So I bin bash, you know, uh, and then. Uh, Weatherman, and if you want empirical units, British system, a dash E. If not, you just leave it out. On leave that out. Put your uh, location, which can be. Sometimes it'll take a zip code in the United States. I don't think it will in uh, Canada here. But for example, a, a major city and the province works here. And then the program's entity, and you just uh, put out text info. And you can specify a width, a height, you can change anything, and little title, so, such as local weather. So I'll close that and I'll just run the script. And it says gathering data, and there you go, just a little window opens up and it shows you, you know, the basic weather outside. Sometimes it does have the sunrise, sunset. It depends on what time of day, and it is provided by weather bug, alright? And just press OK. If you don't want to see this uh, GTK warning stuff, um, what I usually do is I make a just a local uh, share folder and make it into a desktop file. So in your home folder, whatever you're using, you can press Control H, for example, and just go to your local photo folder and share. And if it's not there, just create a folder called Applications. We'll open that, and you see I have two here. Okay. Just right click in a blank space and select empty file and then create. And you can take any one of these for an example. So you open it with a text editor. Just copy the whole thing. Then open the empty file. Paste it in and change what you want. So the application name is going to be uh, oh, weather. Okay. <laughs> Oop. Make sure I spell that right. And the script will be scripts, and I didn't put the sh at the end, it's just weather. And icon, we'll have to look for in a second. And what we want under, what we want category wise would be uh, probably network, I don't know. You can, you can put it in applications or uh, whatever. Okay, we'll leave this open and go to your... Uh, you go to like USR share icons and whatever your icon set you're using it should pick it up so I'm using numix dash circle so in this case it's that directory and then scalable then it says apps and you can just, just start typing weather there it is so for example you can type in weather dash clear into your uh, file so where the icon would be, it would be weather dash clear. You put a comment to quick weather. And now if this des desktop enter, if you don't have it, you can, in some file managers, I'm not sure about Nautilus so much, but there's two ways. You can open it with a text editor and look at a program. So I made a shortcut to the user share applications on the, in the root. And if you want something, an example, just open Firefox, maybe not the best example, but uh, you can open with a text editor and you can see desktop entry is, is required in square brackets, the name, 
Uh, you don't have to include all the different uh, countries. Uh, type is his application icon, and you get the idea here. And, and a lot of things you don't really need from this, but it just you can use that as a template or, or find something simpler. If you can't open it in your file manager, just open a terminal. Hopefully, you can open a terminal in there, and just do an ls. And just take anything like the uh, Ristretto desktop or something, copy it, and then uh, you don't have to sudo, so leafpad, and then I'll just paste that in. And again, you see the desktop entry. Okay, just check everything. So, as I said, I put it under network, so it'll show up under uh, internet eventually when I save the script. And we should be good for that. So I'll save quit and we'll just uh, rename it to anything you want weather dot and make sure, the only thing is like you can name the first part but the dot has to be a desktop so weather dot desktop okay now it's not going to show up in the, the icon here it might show up in your yeah the icon shows up here if you want you can just say mark executable and there we go it's launching and the icons changed so whatever you're using you can use synapse like this a quick launcher type weather again it comes up very quick so that's pretty much uh, you know just just to get an idea of your local weather basically and how you can manipulate the files in Arch Linux to what you like to do okay so, like I said, just a, something simple to start off with, and I hope you found it useful. And any comments or suggestions or whatever, uh, always feel free to add. And uh, that should do it for this one, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.